Hey boys and girls, it's story time with Pastor Tina. Welcome to story time, boys and girls. I am Pastor Tia Maldonado. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to read a book today entitled Unplugged. Unplugged. This book is very important to me. Now, I'm going to tell you a little something about me. When I was little, I didn't have a cell phone. I did not have a tablet. I had no computer in my house when I was little. Now, boys and girls, for you, you have tablets in your home. You have computers. And some of you even have your own phone, which I think is amazing. Those things are wonderful. But sometimes we are so focused on those things that we forget to live life beyond those things. Like going outside and riding your bike or even going outside to play, or looking at the stars and trying to count them, going to the beach and seeing the oceans and seeing the, the sand and, and watching the waves. There's so many beautiful things in creation that you miss out on if you're stuck in your tablet, stuck on a computer, stuck on your phone, even watching story time on YouTube on your devices. It's okay for some times, but you shouldn't be lost in this all day long, every single day. Sometimes you've got to just turn everything off and just get out there and see the world and, and see people and, and experience places. And I know we're dealing with COVID right now and that's very, very limited, but at least go out to your porch and look around and see your neighbors and wave from across the street. Do something a little bit different, but don't spend your days and your evenings just on a device. Well, we're going to read this book called Unplugged, entitled Unplugged, and it is a story about a computer that accidentally got unplugged. Hello, Blip. Blip liked being, uh, liked being plugged into her computer on her computer. On her computer... Blip learned new things, played fun games, danced to music, and visited faraway places. All day long, this is what she did. She played games, she did exercises, she built buildings, she did math, she even played tic-tac-toe. I like playing tic-tac-toe. Don't challenge me, I'm gonna win. She also played other video games here, and even did singing competitions. But one day, guess what happened? There was a blackout. Boys and girls, do you know what a blackout is? A blackout is when the power grid has something to happen to it near the electric company or in a development or in a community. And during that time, when something happens to that power grid, all of that area loses electricity so we have no power to turn on lights or microwaves or anything that's what happened here to blip there was a blackout and blip tripped over her wire what do you think happened when she tripped over her wire we'll see right here she became unplugged just like the title of the book she tumbled all the way downstairs and out of the front door. Blip toppled down a steep grassy hill, rolled through a forest and very tall trees, and drifted down a long winding river. Blip was outside. Is this the first time Blip was outside? Maybe. Outside, Blip learned new things, played fun games, danced to music, and visited faraway places. It seems like she was doing the same thing that she did on the computer, but now she's doing it outside in real life. So what is she doing? Swinging on a tree limb, actually juggling, building a fort maybe, doing cartwheels with new friends, playing on a log. She did all of these things all day long. That's awesome. 
But it was getting late. You know you can only be outside for so long before the sun goes down. Blip sailed back up the long winding river and walked through the forest of very tall trees and climbed back up the steep grassy hill. There she said goodbye to her new friends. Look at those little tears. Oh my goodness. She must have really had a great day. Blip walked all the way upstairs and plugged back into her computer. Hello, Blip. Blip liked being plugged into her computer, but she could, but all she could think about, what do you think it is? Was how great it was to be what? You know it. Let me hear you say it. I hope you got it right. Unplugged. It was good for her to have that little experience where she tripped and her cord got unplugged because she got to leave her home and see the world outside of her home. You know what the Bible tells us in the book of Psalms? That the Lord has created wondrous things and we can't forget about them. We can't get caught up in our everyday life being on our tablets, being on phones, and just doing the things that we normally do and not pay attention to the things that God's created in the universe. He's created the stars and the moon and trees and just so many beautiful things there that are there and they're such a beautiful thing to experience even to even mimic in our drawings when we're painting we can draw creation just to see how beautiful the earth is is just a blessing so many people they miss it every single day because they're plugged into their devices devices are wonderful they're helpful. They're great tools. I'm using one now to talk to you. But even in that case, I can only do it so much because there's a beach waiting for me to enjoy. Come on. You can't live in Florida and not go to the beach. It's the right thing to do. I don't want to miss out on any of God's creation. One day, I'm going to go to Ireland. Another time I'm going to go to England. I want to go to Egypt. I want to see everything that the Lord has created in my lifetime. I want to do so much. So don't, don't, don't be like Blip and stay stuck. Take the time to unplug and see what God has created, okay? That's my challenge for you. Thank you so much for joining me. It's time for us to pray. Please send your prayer request to storytime at CIC orlando.org i look forward to hearing from you i look forward to anything that you would choose to write me i'm looking forward to your correspondence thank you for your prayer requests and your videos and your pictures i would love to meet you if you would like for me to pray for you and call your name out let me know i'll be glad to do it we're gonna now pray for a little girl who feels a little insecure which means she feels a little uncomfortable she is experiencing something we've all experienced, the loss of a front tooth. She does look a little bit different, and she's afraid that people would look at her in a very different way, but she's still beautiful. And you may think if that happens to you, if you want to smile, you should cover your mouth. No, you don't have to cover your mouth, Willow. It's okay. You can show us your beautiful smile. Your smile is beautiful if you're missing one tooth or if you have both of them in. And don't worry, your grown-up tooth will come in shortly and you'll still be beautiful. So we want to pray for Willow and we want to encourage her that this is just a normal thing that all of us go through in life and it's a sign that you're growing up. So, and that you're healthy and you're strong. So don't think of it as a bad thing. It is a great thing. It's a showing of progress in your little life. So we're going to pray for Willow and also for some of our other boys and girls. Will you please pray with me at this time? Father, I thank you for what you're teaching us in this story. That Lord, computers and, and devices and phones, they all have a place in our life. It's a part of our, our normal life. But Lord, we can't be trapped always picking up uh, some sort of electronic device and going to that 
all the time without experiencing the world that you've created. We need to balance our time much better. We need to explore the things that you've created on the earth for us to explore. We need to take advantage of, of our time, that, that's our downtime, that we need to get a breath of fresh air and pay attention to the leaves as they change colors and just how the moon goes through different phases. I mean, God, you're just so amazing that you've created the earth in such a way that it even goes through different phases and there's always something fresh and new to see and to appreciate and experience. And Lord, I thank you for creation. I thank you for how you've created the world. And Lord, we don't want to miss it. We don't want to grow up and not realize all the things that you have given to us here on the earth. So help us to be mindful of that, Lord. Lord, we also want to lift up Willow, who lost her first tooth. And she's a bit nervous about that. She's concerned about the way she looks, Father. Help Willow to know that she is still that beautiful little girl that she is. Uh, the tooth doesn't make a difference, Father God. And, and even though the tooth came out, it is just a sign. It's a sign that she's growing up and she's becoming a big girl. And that this is just a normal thing. So, Lord, we just pray that you would comfort Willow's heart, that she would know that it's okay. And that she doesn't have to smile with her hand over her face, but she can smile with a lot of pride to say, God is growing me up and to be a big, big girl. And this is my time. And the tooth missing is definitely that sign. Lord, we also want to pray a blessing over some other boys and girls who are watching, who are part of the story time family. And so we just want to thank you, Lord, and ask you to bless Rochelle and to bless Michael. And Lord, please bless Stephen and Valerie. I thank you, Lord, for Neil. And Lord, I just also want to pronounce a blessing over Jennifer. And Lord, we pray a blessing over Travis. I thank you, Lord, that you're also going to be blessing Marquis. And Lord, I thank you so much for Zephaniah. There you go. I got it out. Zephaniah. Lord bless Zephaniah. I pray, Lord, that you will touch all the boys and girls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. I would love to see you again next time on Storytime. God bless you and good night. Thanks for watching.